Hi everybody, I'm JT. Welcome to another video from me here at Campervan Journey. And today I am in Borg Saint Maurice in the French Alps. We've traveled down here for a trip away for a week's skiing and um, we're stopping overnight a couple of times on the way to break up the journey. So I've been staying in our California beach and we decided as a consequence of staying overnight in the cold weather that we needed to invest in a pop top cover to give us a bit more insulation and protection in the cold weather. So having done a little bit of research and investigation, did wanted something that was quick and easy to fit on to the pop top. Um, something that was, didn't take up too much space, didn't cost a fortune, but also was going to be effective and do a good job. And after a little bit of research online, a number of forums and contacting a few manufacturers, we decided to opt for this screen that we've you see behind me from a company called Pusa Screens. And I have to say, it's been really, really good. So let me tell you a little bit more about it, show you how it fits on. If you're looking for one, it could be a good solution for you. So the key thing for us when I was having a look at the different options for pop top covers was something that was going to be quick and easy to put on. Um, whilst the ones that go over completely encase the pop top probably offer a bit more insulation, knowing that our stop offs were probably going to be two o'clock in the morning parking up, wanted something quick and easy that we could slot in. And uh, having spoken to Darren from Pusa Screens, in fact it's his design, it's his own screen design, and he was telling me how quick and easy it would be to put on and I have to say it's proven to be so. It is a two person job, I think you could do it with one person, but two people makes it a lot easier and because I'm a little bit shorter I've needed to use a, a step to, to reach up height but you can also step, use on the side step to access and put it in. Um, but let me we'll just show you how quickly and easy it is to put up. Um, take away. It's a multi-layer construction and you can see it's got a silver foil on it and it's worked really really well at insulating this against the cold. Uh, we were camping last night, temperature got down to minus seven, minus eight and it was absolutely fine, no problem at all. Claire and I slept up top in the pop top and the boys slept downstairs. We did have the diesel heater on uh, on, on low and periodically through in the night, but uh, it was absolutely great at doing a good job at keeping this nice and snug. And I know, having experienced the pop top in the summer without any cover on, and sometimes even in the summer it can be a bit chilly, so um, it's definitely, definitely made a, a good difference. So it's a single piece construction that basically rolls up and then folds all the way around the pop top and then joins with a bungee cord at back. We've just uh, knotted the bungee to give it a little bit more tension to keep it tight. I'll show you how easy it is to take off and put on in just a second. It's really nicely fitted and designed. You can see that it's been perfectly measured when they've been constructing it. It's all the seams line up exactly. And it feels very durable as well. This video isn't sponsored by Pusa Screens, so this is purely my opinion. I bought it with my own money, um, and but I have to say, it's done a great job for us. <coughs> See how cold it was last night? We've got icicles on our pop top. So it's a quick and easy job to install the screen. Um, Really, it's probably a two-person job, so Claire and I will just show you how to fit it. It comes in its own storage bag, and it's literally just the screen and a bungee cord, and that's all you need. If you're a bit short like me, you might need a step.
have the side door open, it's a bit easier to stand on the step to feed it through. And then basically, can you take the roll. And then we feed it in. Just follow in the line at the top. Slide it behind the gas struts and the hinges. match up nicely with the seam on the corner. This is the bit where I need to step. All the two ends together and then using the bungee cord, keep it tight. Deliberate gap between the two to ensure there's some ventilation. Actually a good thing if you've got the heater on inside, so you have got some fresh air able to circulate. Well, simple as that, so it's taken us less than five minutes to get an effective insulated cover to our pop top. And you can see with the cover installed, it's really effective way of darkening down the inside as well. Again, if you were sleeping in the summer, shorter nights, Again, that'd be a good advantage and the reflective cover would help protect against heat just as much as it does the cold. So to remove the cover, first thing to do is to undo the bungee cord, which has kept it all nice and secure. And then we just literally need to just slide it through. I said it was a two man job. Claire's doing it as one woman on her own and without steps. So what do I know? Yeah, and she's rolling as she goes. Oh, well done. There we go, all rolled up. So now we'll go in the storage bag to pop away. There we go. So all packed away nicely in its own storage bag. Here. All done. So really really good cover i think makes a great difference certainly it's worked really well for us in the very very cold of last night um would no doubt add some extra protection on wet days it protects the canvas from getting wet and damp and certainly that's a, a big thing if you're camping in, in, in the uk and so yeah i think it's uh, something really really worth having a look at. I'll put a link in the description to um, the company's website, uh, Pusa Screens, and uh, said uh, Darren was very, very helpful with uh, any questions or queries I had about the screen. Uh, 
and uh, very very pleased that, that we bought one it's been a, a great acquisition so thanks very much indeed for watching i hope you found that um, little video useful hope you if you haven't got a pop top cover and um, consider this one from the guys at Pewter Screens. As I said, it's done us a good job and uh, look forward to seeing you on another of our videos here on Campervan Journey very soon. Thanks for watching. <laughs>